Our guest today, Mr. Chad Elliott. Welcome, Chad. It's great to have you with us today. Thank you. It's great to be here. So, Chad, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Well, um, I'm an Iowa singer-songwriter and also an artisan, and I travel around the country showing my art and my sharing my songs. Oh, oh. wonderful. Yeah. Well, what brings you to Sweet Swine County? I, everyone's talking about it in the music business, about this new commune that you've started here in your oh, county. Yes. The Swine Song Commune. Yeah, yeah that's it. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, well, I mean, I heard that the Swine Song Commune allows musicians and artists uh, uh, time to get together yes. and also uh, to share their, their common interest in the arts. And um, Well, I've decided I'm going to be a citizen of the commune. Oh, are you going to move here? That's exciting. <laughs> well, no, no, I'm not going to move here permanently, oh. but I... Uh, because I do a lot of traveling as a musician, oh, but, okay. but I'll be sure to um, stay in touch and involved um, through the website. Oh, oh well, I've oh, seen oh. that website, Sally. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah, you know, yeah. it's, it's a great website to mm -hmm. visit if you mm -hmm. haven't done that. It's absolutely wonderful. So, Chad, tell us how did you discover that you wanted to be a songwriter? I was in college. I was studying art, and my roommate happened to have a guitar sitting in the corner, and so I picked up uh, the guitar and I started practicing some chords and then eventually I, that wasn't enough. I had to write my own words and then it, it just grew from there. Amazing. Oh. And Amazing. what's your inspiration for your songs? I think everyday life, um, a lot of it. And then I've also just, uh, nature always inspires me. I go out for walks a lot and hikes and I come up, come back with loads of ideas that I can mm. write. And I, I've, mm. my mom was an English teacher, and so oh. she was always encouraging me to write poetry. So cool. oh. it was just a way to share my poems. That That's kind of goes hand in hand with it. Right. Yes. 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 So now I have heard about the One Horse Tour yeah. What is that? It's a one horse town tour, yeah. And oh. it's uh, kind of about, it's uh, small town life. Um, mm -hmm. in, I in Iowa, there's lots of small towns, just as there are here in Minnesota, mm -hmm. wonderful small towns. And um, I thought I'd celebrate that a little bit. By next summer, I'll, I'm going to be traveling to towns under 1,000 in population and sharing my music. And so I'll be spending a month just traveling, visiting all mm -hmm. the small towns that I might not have run across, um, even though I've grown up in that. So. Oh, that's <laughs> great. Oh, what a yes. clever idea. That's and wonderful. you have a new album, uh, and it's called Redemption Man, is that correct? Yes, that's right. I'm just releasing that now, and um, I'm really proud of this album. It, uh, the producer is Bo Ramsey, who works with Greg Brown and Lucinda Williams mm. and all these oh, wonderful artists, wonderful. and uh, he plays his slide guitar on it. But I... I been waiting to share these songs, and um, I'm finally getting it on an album, releasing it here this November. Oh, that's, so. that's exciting. That's amazing. Oh, so exciting. Well, you know, I've also heard about another project. I mean, you're, you're a very busy man. <laughs> um, but this new project is called The Den Sessions of 2010. Could you elaborate on that a the, little bit? I mean, as I said, I write a lot of songs. I guess, And yeah. uh, it's kind of like journal entries for me. I almost like every day I'll write uh, bits of songs here and there. Oh. And so what I do is I'm, I do home recording. And so this mm -hmm. is a, a way to get a lot of the home recordings that I might not have ever released. I've, I've written over like a thousand songs. And wow. so I'm finally ready oh, wow. To just share some of these songs that I might not be able to release on a full That's full production album. Just oh, great, amazing. amazing. Can I can I um, hear from one of uh, the reports of one of your citizens that oh. have gone out to the small towns and? You got it, Chad. Yeah. We'll do that right now. Oh, hello again, Colonel von Breger here. I was just going over some of my adventures here in my journal. Have I ever told you about the time I was on safari in Africa? Ah, uh, perhaps not. Or the time I flew over uncharted waters in the Black Sea. Ah, uh, there again, perhaps I haven't shared that with you. Well, these are some of my adventures, and I'm going to be doing other adventures now in the South, specifically Southern Minnesota, visiting towns and communities. In fact, we're taking an adventure today. Why don't you join me as we go to St. James, Minnesota? 
St. James, the county seat of Wantawan County in southwest Minnesota, offers a wide range of opportunities for recreation and relaxation, and the kind of hometown service and hospitality that will make you want to return. With recreational opportunities offered in their lakes, parks, and the St. James Bike Trail, St. James is bully good. Visit the St. James Area Chamber of Commerce to make St. James your vacation destination. Come on over and make yourself at home. And again, Bully St. James. Bully. Well, let's discover some of the fine businesses and establishments as we continue our adventure. Chad, on top of all of your music, I understand a little person told me that you are also an artist. That's right, yes. What kind of type of art do you do? Well, mainly painting. I, I've, really? I've done a lot of pottery and sculpture and things like uh-huh. that, um, but I've gotten into uh, acrylic painting ma- acrylic. mainly, mm-hmm. and uh, the paintings that I do now have become... Uh, lyric paintings where oh, they're based nice. off the lyrics of my songs. Oh, uh, how fun. For years I've tried to combine the two, my music mm-hmm. and my art, and finally I've got a, an avenue that I can do that. Tell us about the song that you're going to do for us. All right. Well, uh, this is uh, Barnes on Fire, and it's the painting that I brought today is is based off that, and it's one off the new album. Oh, oh wonderful. Oh, I'm excited. Wonderful. I'm That's excited. Yes. We'll sit back, ladies and gentlemen, and enjoy. <laughs> When the barn's on fire, let it burn down to the ground. When the barn's on fire, let it burn down to the ground. See the smoke and the ashes, you never know what can be found. When the love's long gone, let it run, run away. When the love's long gone, let it run, run away. Cause you can't make a wonder and love wanna stay. So when the barn's on fire, let it burn down to the ground. When the barn's on fire, let it burn down to the ground. Sin the smoke and the ashes, you never know what can be found. So I go out to the country to find my peace of mind. Yeah, I go out to the country to find my peace of mind. But a cold, hungry ghost is all I could find. So when the barn's on fire, let it burn down to the ground. When the barn's on fire, let it burn down to the ground. Since the smoke and the ashes. You never know it can be found So when the nights get cold Seep into your bones when the nights get cold. Seep into your bones. Go find a love, boy. Don't live alone. So when the barn's on fire, let it burn down to the ground. When the barn's on fire, let it burn down to the ground. Since the smoke and the ashes, you never. 
never know what can be found. Oh, in the barn's on fire, let it burn down to the ground. When the barn's on fire, let it burn down to the ground. It's in the smoke and the ashes, you never know what can be found. Wonderful. That was just incredible. Now, could we hear another one of your oh, songs? Oh, could we please? Absolutely. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Up in Minnesota, where the stars are frozen bright, way up in Minnesota, where the stars are frozen bright, I sing myself a love song, cause my love can't hear me tonight. And I know I could have loved her forever and today. I know I could have loved her forever and today. And she would have loved me in return if I hadn't lost my way. There was something in the woods that scared the daylights out of me. There was something in the woods, mama, that scared the daylights out of me. And I dropped my lantern when I ran away. Now I cannot see. And Lord, the wind she's howling. Across the prairie lands Oh Lord the wind she's howling Across the prairie lands And I'm still searching for that ribbon That the wind has taken out of my hand spoke to one another each in our own dreams we spoke to one another each in our own dreams but now I can't fall back to sleep I'm wide awake wondering what it means way up in Minnesota Way up in Minnesota I sing myself a love song Chad, that was just great. It has been so great having you here. I just can't tell you how much we've enjoyed this. Thank you so much. <laughs> well, I think we need to see another one of those um, citizen <laughs> reports. Yes. 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 yes, yeah, all right. <laughs> Hello, 
there. I'm Lady Dot from Spottingham, England. Yes, good to see you again. And today, right now, I am putting spots on my map on several small communities that I find to be spot on. And I'd like you to join me as we learn a little bit about some of these communities. In fact, I have one in mind for today that you might rather enjoy. So please join me as we explore this community together. Truman lies 20 miles to the north of the Iowa border in south-central Minnesota. Founded when railroad came through the area in 1899, their city features an independent school district, exceptional quality of life, and a safe atmosphere to raise a family. Take part in Truman Days, the last part of July, for lots of fun and socializing with friends and relatives. I think you'll agree that Truman is a truly great place to call home. Now, didn't I tell you that was one fabulous community? Now... Let's take a look at some of their businesses. What a great town. Oh, yes, it <laughs> was. Yes, yes fantastic. Now, Chad, have you seen our reporter, Clarice's reports? Uh, she does uh, these reports called Hid Away But Not Forgotten. I'd love would to. Would you like to see one? I would love to, yeah. Hello, Sweet Swine County. This is your roving reporter, Clarice. Today, we're hidden away in Sibley County in the town of Lesur. Carson Nesbitt Cosgrove originally built Cosgrove House Bed and Breakfast in 1893. CN is known as the founder of the Minnesota Valley Canning Company, or as most of us know it, the Green Giant Company. CN built this house for his wife Elizabeth, their two sons, and two daughters. A relative told the story that C.N., known as the Little Giant at 5 foot 3 inches, had the decorative brick fireplace mantle built so that he would look taller when leaning against it. After Elizabeth's death in the 1930s, the home was converted into a boarding house. Marilyn Webb and her late husband Wayne bought the house in 1997 and spent three years lovingly restoring it. The Green Giant Room contains a gas fireplace and mementos from the Green Giant Company. The Bridal Suite has a large bath, and the Elizabeth Room is named for CN's wife. The CN Room was used by CN Cosgrove in the boarding house days when he returned to the area. A beautiful upstairs sitting area rounds out this charming historic home. Cosgrove House Bed and Breakfast was listed on the National Register of Historic Places in 1982. From outside Sweet Swine County, this is Clarice. And as my Norwegian Nana would have said, hid away hardly means forgotten. Bye! That was great. Wasn't it? It was. It was. Yeah. And you were a great guest today. We want to thank you for being here. But before we go, can you share with us how we learn more about your music? I like to play all over the region, so um, I, I'd love to come up to Minnesota and play um, <laughs> as much as possible. Um, but I also have a website, if you're interested, to oh, check out my new good. CD uh, called oh, Redemption Man oh, here. Yes. And uh, it's chadelliot.net. That's double L double T on Elliot, oh, and um, cool. you can find other CDs as well on there. Mm, wonderful. As well yeah, as you can yes, look yes, at my yes. artwork. Thank you for being our guest today, Chad, and thank you, honey, for being the co-host. This is so